Hi everyone. This is a video about this package of DJI Mini 3 Pro and DJI Mini 3 Pro Fly More kit that uh, in Europe and in UK you cannot get a Fly More kit plus because it can offer you more flying time with each battery is about they are saying 45 minutes over 45 minutes but uh, on the normal fly more kit offering you 35 to 37 minutes and this is the one with the rc controller uh, this package and the price of this varies from uh, to both of them together varies from uh, 950 up to 1100 pounds so everything is in the box the box has nothing on any other sides by the DJI and it has the normal box and the same goes for here so I get everything out of the box and we are going to talk more. So here is everything that you get from these two package, the DJI Mini 3 Pro package is this one, including just uh, two pairs of uh, blades and uh, micro USB um, type C USB to USB and that's really it and one battery in there one of these batteries are uh, supplied with a mini 3 pro package with the RC controller and then the rest here with the fly more you get two pairs of uh, propellers and then all of these papers that nobody reads them anyhow this video is more or less about what you get and what you can have in order to uh, you know make your uh, uh, DJI mini uh, 3 Pro a little bit versatile and then this one came with a uh, fly more kit that is is really adequate is not much I, I don't uh, I just put my uh, drone and then the controller and then just the batteries and the charger and some of some of the stuff in here you cannot carry a lot in this package really there is a place here for your drone for your controller and for your multi-charger pack and that's really it there are some package here you know some uh, pockets there some zip up uh, you know pocket here as well and another one here that is really flat that you cannot put anything really other than the uh, you know memory cards and something flat in here so in general this is what you get and now those things that we are, we are not going to talk about a lot i talk about the back which is uh, really adequate uh, the only way that i can uh, explain this is adequate because there are not much of the space in there but if you want just to grab your controller and your drone and some extra batteries and go somewhere that's that's fantastic but you cannot put anything else in there because it's so tight and so small and so portable also anyhow so i get everything that we are not going to talk about in this video out and then we are going to carry on with this video so here is the bare essentials that you need to go anywhere in order to uh, start doing some 
aerial photography and you know some having some fun with this but there are stuff that you need to to get in order to have uh, this one um, in the optimal uh, situation and then uh, avoid any sort of you know accidents and so on so the first thing that we need is a strap this one I have made it myself in order to uh, hold all the uh, propellers in place in this case here in the center is holding it but it's not really effective it's coming out so that for the bottom and the top if you put them like this together you know still they are gonna come out so it's good to invest in something like this to have a strap this is very soft I made it myself and is really good and then those with sharp eyes they may notice that we have two of these in here screwed on and that is for the uh, strap to put it uh, around your neck and these are the places that you put uh, round here and then around your neck in order to avoid dropping it and so on and then the screen protector that is already on this and uh, this one as you know the uh, sticks they are around the back I'm not gonna waste your time by telling you which one of these buttons or what I'm just telling you what you need in order to fly this efficiently and uh, in a, a very professional manner uh, in case of uh, you want to record uh, screen recording and editing or something of that sense and then remember this one has the charging port here as well as having this at the bottom let me just show you this and we have one USB type C here as well and then the memory card in there I put 256 megabyte gigabyte of the memory in there and then here you can utilize this to do some uh, a screen recording with uh, sound you can put your microphone here not many people they know this but I show you my rig to uh, do that you can do either uh, with a wireless or the wired one I have uh, Rode uh, Wireless Go the first generation that it has to be connected here via the TRS to USB uh, type C cable I show you it and here is the adapter that you need if you can find one of these that it can offer you TRS and TRS TRRS uh, is really good because you can put four segmented uh, microphone in there as well as the three segmented walk microphone so this one that I have is uh, two segment three segmented uh, microphone they call this aux to micro to uh, type C USB uh, adapter uh, but if you have four of them it's they call it TRRS type C uh, adapter that you can get it this is my microphone that uh, in case that I am using my uh, Rode wireless somewhere else so I'm gonna use this that uh, you can buy these uh, for 20 pounds and then the cable for another 10 pounds and then this one uh, is about three to seven pounds it depends which brand you are using and Boya they have this one as well 
for 17 pounds but is very dear but this one does the same job as uh, the other ones but uh, the one that I have here is just a TRRS to uh, type C USB because this one has this uh, the TRRS connector and I have another microphones that you know they are TRS and so on and then here is the muffler for the wind protection that you can put it on top so that is another one and then you need a filter UV filter for your camera this is more or less about the things that you can get to protect your uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro in order to keep it a little bit longer because in a normal way that it comes uh, the lens is exposed and you can just easily scratch it or damage it but with this one at least you can protect it against some uh, scratches so this one was uh, about 12 to 13 pounds this is just a simple one the UV light you can see that and uh, there are loads of them on eBay and Amazon so I'm not going to provide any sort of links in there I'm just telling you what you need in case that you want to protect your lovely drone for a longer use and uh, the other things that is really crucial is a landing and taking off pad so uh, because sometimes you are on sand or rocky ground or grassy ground that is going to damage your propellers you have to buy a very uh, reasonable uh, landing pad in my case uh, if I can open this zip and show you because this one is double sided and is foldable but not those kind of foldable that uh, they are bouncing back so this is this is is really big one side is yellow and the other side is orange and this is very crucial if you want your drone to establish a return to home uh, properly you have to just you know hover it over your landing pad in order to establish where and what color where am I going to land uh, if I return to home so if you hover it for uh, some seconds over your landing pad is it's more clear for your drone to come back to you and then what else do you need because this package it doesn't come with any chargers so i'd recommend a, a charger more than 30 watt charger and this is samsung 45 watt charger that it can uh, easily and quickly charge your batteries and your uh, controller and um, to be honest that's really it what you need because the rest they are coming with your drone uh, that is just a cable uh, type c to type c and then uh, these are all papers that you may need uh, for warranty and so on and there are a bunch of them so I put them aside and then there is one set that comes with your drone and your controller it's not a set it's two pair it means for two of these you have propellers but in your fly more kit you have a full set of uh, propellers for your drone and then the screwdriver it comes in a fly more package and then you get another 
uh, USB cable that is normal USB to type C for getting the power out of here and if you are not familiar with this when you put this uh, to the charger connect this to a charger you have an out socket normal USB um, out socket that in order to activate that you have to press this but if you press this first it's gonna charge this and then charge each batteries so you're interrupting your uh, battery charging um, process and then with this one you can also charge the controller as well and those that they are they have keen eyes they know that, that I already uh, uploaded some videos uh, of master shots with this uh, lovely drone just to try to see how you uh, my viewers they like this uh, sort of videos anyhow this video is getting already too long but by all means I am recommending this for beginners and professionals because this one is really small and under 250 grams and uh, you know with the lens is 248 grams and it is, it is really good and it has the obstacle avoidance for front and the back and the bottom you see there are loads of people that are talking about this so I'm not going to waste your time in, in this segment so I'm just telling you what to get in order to get the most out of your drone and uh, maybe in the future I'm gonna get some more accessories for this but this is bare essentials that you have to have in order to fly this uh, uh, little gem of a drone because I don't think after this uh, that DJI had done with all the obstacle avoidances so the only thing that remains is side obstacle avoidances in, in order to make this a perfect drone perfect pocket drone and uh, you know that would be brilliant and then some software updates because you cannot put any sort of third-party apps on this the um, uh, Android version of this one is 10 so it's very limited and only you can do uh, um, whatever that is inside here and there that's it you cannot have any extra apps downloaded from the third party on this one so it's, 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 the app is rather slow uh, in case that you want to delete or you know uh, edit some sort of uh, videos here and then transfer it and you cannot transfer it from here into your mobile phone you have to switch to transfer uh, from your uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro and there are limitations in there but still it's good if you have a powerful uh, Wi-Fi you can do that and the rest is really good I cannot say anything bad about this only the, um, uh, the brightness is sometimes when the Sun is shining into this the brightness 700 nit is not really good enough and uh, that's really it I really love this and if you can find a even a second hand of this drone with this controller do not go for the controller that you have to connect your mobile phone and so on because these two they are uh, perfecting each other and you know I know loads of people that they have drones but because of the hassle of you know connecting the cable to the mobile and the mobile to the uh, you know uh, controller and all of that is rather uh, time consuming 
but if you can you um, purchase this package with the RC controller because it's, it's, it's fantastic I cannot stress more why you should get this because this item is brilliant you just put it in your pocket or your backpack and go there with some extra batteries and then you are there and if you have one of these still you can do some screen recording with the aid of some connectors like this that I'm sure maybe in the future uh, DJI is going to uh, with every software update they are going to get rid of all of these uh, little you know blemishes that you know it comes to my eyes and they are going to fix it anyhow this video got too long more than 20 minutes so i apologize for for that and until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time